Kate and Prince William apart at Prince Philip's funeral after heartbreaking announcement. Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, will travel to Prince Philip's funeral apart from Prince William. It has emerged as details of the ceremony have been confirmed. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are among the 30 confirmed guests at the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral, which will take place on Saturday at 3 p.m. William will be part of the procession bringing the Duke's body to St. George's Chapel, while Kate will depart from Windsor Castle, Buckingham Palace has said. William will also walk one step ahead of his brother Harry when the coffin is taken into St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle as he is heir to the throne. Details of the Duke's funeral were released shortly after Prince Charles and Camilla visited Marlborough House in central London this afternoon to see floral tributes for Philip moved from the palace gates. The couple spent some time looking at the cards and notes with the flowers, which had words of support including one which read, HRH a true gentleman. Thank you for your devoted service to our country. We shall miss you. Buckingham Palace also confirmed the Queen and the other 30 guests invited to the service will wear a face mask during the funeral. A palace spokesman said the monarch had to make difficult decisions about who would be there due to Covid restrictions. The Queen will be sitting by herself in the choir of St. George's Chapel with all mourners following COVID guidelines and remaining socially distanced. However, she will be joined by a lady-in-waiting for the short car journey to the place of worship from the castle. The funeral will also pay homage to Philip's lifelong association with the Royal Navy, as buglers of the Royal Marines will sound action stations during the service at the Duke's request. It is played on a warship to signal all hands should go to battle stations and is sometimes featured at funerals of naval men. A small choir of just four singers will feature during the service and the guests will follow COVID rules and not sing. Other guests include all of the Duke's children and grandchildren and their spouses, the children of the Queen's sister Princess Margaret and three of Philip's German relatives the hereditary Prince of Baden, Prince Donatus, Landgrave of Hesse and Prince Philip of hohenlohland Genberg. Also invited is a close friend of the Duke, Countess Mountbatten of Burma, Benny who is Philip's carriage driving partner. Buckingham Palace confirmed that the royal men will wear morning coats with their medals while the women will wear gay dresses. Gate and William have also joined with other members of the royal family posting social media tributes to the Duke throughout this week. Their latest picture which was posted on their Kensington Royal accounts yesterday, showed William and Kate with their children Prince George and Princess Charlotte, posing with Philip and the Queen at Balmoral in 2015. The royal family released new pictures of the Duke of Edinburgh yesterday as well, including a photograph taken by Kate of the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh surrounded by seven of their great-grandchildren at Balmoral Castle in 2018. Cheeky Charlotte was the star in the photo as she was pictured smiling and waving while the other children kept their hands by their sides. Earlier in the week, William described Philip as an extraordinary man and said he will miss my grandpa. In a statement, he said, My grandfather's century of life was defined by service, to his country and commonwealth, to his wife and queen, and to our family. I feel lucky to have not just had his example to guide me, but his enduring presence well into my own adult life both through good times and the hardest days. I will always be grateful that my wife had so many years to get to know my grandfather and for the kindness he showed her. I will never take for granted the special memories my children will always have of their great-grandpa coming to collect them in his carriage and seeing for themselves his infectious sense of adventure as well as his mischievous sense of humor. My grandfather was an extraordinary man and part of an extraordinary generation.